Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Hyundai Elantra Limited. There is four trims you could choose from, but let me go ahead and show you all the features this limited trim has. Under the hood, there is a 2.0 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. It is connected to an IVT transmission. This engine produces 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers are very impressive on this Elantra. 30 in the city, 40 highway, and 34 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2023 Hyundai Elantra Limited. If you guys are interested in the standard features it has, just go ahead and pause the video. And the price with destination is 27640 if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Electric Shadow and it does look very good on this limited trim. And uh, this is my favorite color on the Elantra. And as I mentioned guys, there is four trims you can choose from. There is the SE, SEL Limited and the Unline. And coming to the front, I love the way how the Elantra looks like. Definitely with this color, it looks much better than black white and other colors so definitely this is my favorite color you could see all the lines on this elantra hyundai badge is finished in chrome there is blacked out chrome here in the front the grill looks good has a really nice design to it this piece right here in the bottom is finished in blacked out chrome there is a vent on the side and the lower part of the bumper is very nice and aggressive for the headlights, they do have a really nice look to them. And by the way, the limited trim does have different headlights than the other trims. So if you guys go with the SE, SEL, they will have halogen lights. And uh, this limited has unique and different headlights. And uh, the daytime running light is LED. The high and low beam are LED. And the turn signal indicators are halogen. I really wish that everything right here in the front was LED, just like the Civic. The Civic offers LED turn signal indicators on the base trim. But overall, this Elantra looks honestly amazing. But let's go ahead and move to the side and I'll show you the side view of this Elantra. Here is a side view of this Hyundai Elantra and it does look very good from the side. As I told you guys, this electric shadow looks amazing and you could definitely see the sharp lines on this Elantra with this color. The bottom portion of the window trims are finished in chrome. The top is finished in flat black. On the mirror, there is a blind spot monitoring system a turn signal indicator and the top portion of the mirror is finished in the same color as the car but the bottom portion of it is finished in flat black for the rims they are actually my favorite rims so the limited has the best looking rims and uh, the size is 225 45 17 i really hate the way how the rims look like on the se and sel and uh, the online has decent rims but they are too big but i think those 17 inch rims look amazing on this limited trim and they fit this car just perfect and uh, as you guys see there is a sunroof this is only i think with the limited trim if i'm not mistaken there is a gloss black shark fan antenna but let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll show you the back of view of this elantra here is the back of this elantra and as you guys see it is nice and aggressive from the back and i personally think this car looks amazing from every single angle so the front the side and the back and uh, yeah i just really love what hyundai did with this elantra and definitely this color stands out and for the tail lights not everything right here in the back is led so the running light is led it is a nice long strip definitely looks good and it is only on the limited trim the se and sel do not have it i'm not sure about the end line if it has it or not and the reverse turn signal indicators and brake light they're all halogen I really wish that Hyundai gave us something LED on this limited trim. Limited badge is on the right, finished in chrome. Elantra is spelled out back here. Backup camera is on top of the Hyundai badge. The Hyundai badge is finished in chrome and this button right here is for the trunk release. There is rear parking sensors which is good and uh, there is good looking reflectors here in the back. I love the fact that they brought this blacked out chrome back here and there is gloss black in the bottom. I love the design in the bottom. I think Hyundai did a great job with the design overall. But yeah, seriously, this thing looks very good from the back and uh, I think Hyundai did a great job. Here's the key of this Hyundai Elantra and it does look very good. There is five binds on this key, lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and a panic bind. The binds are finished in gloss black. There is brushed aluminum and chrome. And the key itself is finished in flat black or just black. Let's go ahead and open the trunk. As I said, guys, there is 
a bind on the trunk, there is a bind on the key, and there is a bind inside. So there's three ways to open the trunk. The trunk opens halfway, then you have to do the rest of the work. And inside, there's actually a good amount of space. There is a halogen light right there. There is handles to drop the seats down, 40-60 split. And uh, there's this accessory right here. And uh, let me go ahead and show you actually what's underneath. But before I do that, there's those pins. And uh, they do actually stick on the side, as you guys see. And uh, they're not gonna go anywhere if you're driving. So definitely nice and smart. And underneath, there is a spare tire with the Jack and the Jack tools. And there is a tiny bit of storage place around the spare tire if you wanna store something in the bottom. Here is a front door panel. The front door panel has an okay look to it. This top portion right here is plastic, but it does feel nice and solid, not cheap. This is actually soft. I love the triple stitching right here. There's a tweeter right here, and here is a door handle. A Little bit on the lower side for my liking. The driver window is automatic up and down, and everything looks all right. Everything has a, an okay feel to it. This is a Hyundai, so that's fine. And uh, the armrest is actually not bad, a little bit on the harder side. Here is the speaker, does look very, very nice. This Elantra Limited has the Bose sound system. This is plastic, which is fine. An okay amount of storage place in the bottom. And for the seats, they're wrapped in leather. Very nice and comfortable. And I really love the design on those seats. And of course, they are powered, lumbar support. But let's go ahead and move inside this Elantra and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. All right, so here is the interior of this 2023 Hyundai Elantra Limited. It does look very good from the inside. There is a 10.25 inch cluster display and a 10.25 inch touchscreen. And the Limited has the, I think, better interior because of the screens. And uh, the other trims, they have a normal gauge, an 8-inch screen, but this Limited just looks honestly amazing. Steering wheel is wrapped in leather. It is nice and thick. Leather feels nice and smooth. The steering wheel design overall looks pretty good, I think. There's brushed aluminum, glass black, flat black, and uh, there's some chrome and uh, some brushed aluminum right here. So definitely a good looking steering wheel and it is very light. So driving this Elantra around parking lots is very easy. Right here on the left, there is the voice command, phone controls and uh, volume controls. And on the right is uh, the safety features. So there's a steering assist, adaptive cruise control. And by the way, this spine right here will control the center of this 10.25 inch screen. You could go up and down depending on the menu you are in. And this screen honestly looks very good. Very high resolution and uh, nice and clear. And on the left there is the headlight controls with the turn signal controls. On the right is the wiper controls. Behind is the engine start stop. And there's this really nice design right here finished in gloss black. I think on the end, um, end line uh, there's the drive mode button right here. I love the way how the vents look like, very high quality much better than the BMW X7 I reviewed. So Hyundai, good job. And you could lock the vent by moving it to the left. Right here, there is a few buttons, brightness control, link keeping assist, and the traction control. And here is the 10.25 inch screen. It does look good. And Hyundai system is nice and smooth. This system is different than the other trims, so the SE and SEL won't receive this or do not have this system. This system is definitely very nice, and it's only on the bigger screens, I think. It does have, uh, does have wired CarPlay and Android Auto. I really wish they had wireless CarPlay and Android Auto because the SEL trim has wireless CarPlay. So I really wish this had it. So I'm not exactly sure why Hyundai does that. And here is the backup camera. Backup camera resolution is pretty good. And uh, there is, I believe, two modes. So there's a down view and a normal view. And there's parking sensors and rear cross traffic. And here are the vents. They do look good. Finished in brushed aluminum. Definitely adds 
a nicer look. Here is the entrance start stop, some shortcuts. If you want to go to the navigation, just click on map. This will take you to the navigation. So it does have built-in navigation. Here is a volume knob and a few other shortcuts or buttons. Climate controls are very easy to use. It does have dual climate control, three stages or three settings for the automatic function. And uh, here is a sync button, fan speed, AC, off. This limited trim has heated seats, three stages. The other trims do not have heated seats. I'm not sure about the N line, but the SE and SEL do not. In the bottom, there is a nice deep storage place with a wireless phone charger, two USBs, 112 volt, and I really like the leather right here. The shifter is a little bit on the bigger side. Trying to put a phone in is a little bit hard, but um, I think it does look good. There is the brake hold, the e-brake, and a button to turn on the backup camera without putting the car in reverse. And here is the drive mode button. So let's go ahead and change the drive modes. Normal, sport, and smart. So normal and smart have the same look, but when you put the car in sport mode, the gauges do change, which is nice. And uh, right here, there is two cup holders, nice and big. This is finished in gloss black. Not a big fan of this grab handle. And uh, a little bit of it is finished in gloss black. Definitely looks much better than the SEL trim. The SEL trim, the whole thing is finished in, in flat black or just plastic and definitely looks cheaper than this one. The armrest is a little bit on the harder side and inside there is a decent amount of space but I really wish there was like a USB or a 12 volt inside. And this right here is nice and soft. This is plastic, glove box is nice and big. And up here, the rear view mirror is nice and big. It's not frameless, but the bezels are nice and thin and uh, there is some halogen lights. I really wish there was some LED lights. This button right here will turn off and turn on the lights. It does have a sunroof. So let's go ahead and close it first. Good size sunroof. SOS, blue link, halogen lights as I said. And uh, the visor is finished in hard material very good size mirror with a halogen light. Here is the back door panel. The back door panel has the same design as the front. This top portion right here is plastic. It does feel a little bit cheaper than the front. Here is the door handle. It feels nice and solid. Window switch and a little bit of storage place right here. And uh, this is actually finished in plastic. Plastic. This right here is nice and soft. So the only soft material back here is this part and everything else is plastic. And the bottom, there's, there is plastic, and uh, there is a bottle holder. Speaker looks good. And for the back seats, they're nice and comfortable, wrapped in leather as the front, of course. And headroom is good, leg room is good. And uh, they do have a nice design to them. And there is an armrest back here, nice and soft, two cup holders, and uh, there is no air vents no USBs or anything like that. I really wish there was some USBs or 12 volts back here on this limited trim. There's a small storage place on the passenger side. And that's how the front of this Hyundai Elantra looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2023 Hyundai Elantra finished in electric shadow. If you guys are interested in this one, make sure to come and see Moody here at Key Hyundai in Milford. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.